Hello, I'm the Media Wiz, because one art form wasn't enough. Today's requested review comes from Bear Rimshot. Hi there. My name is Bear Rimshot. Welcome to Casual Reviews with Bear Rimshot. So I'm going to be doing a trilogy of three different channels and breaking down certain blocks and networks that they had. These three channels include Disney Channel, Cartoon Network, and Nickelodeon. Let's start with Disney Channel because, well, it comes first in the lineup and it was the requested one, so let's get this one out of the way. This is Toon Disney. Toon Disney was a channel made to air original animated and live action series. The channel itself was meant to be a spin-off to the original Disney Channel. While most of the shows were meant for a way younger audience, they did have a block aimed for more tweens called Jet X. Yo, check this out. The world of Jet X is totally broke. You can say that again. We're talking an extra hour. So fasten your safety belt. Now you can catch all of your favorite Jet X shows every weeknight from 7 to 10 p.m. Power! Yeah, plus every Monday you can catch an all-new episode of our newest original series, Super Robot Monkey Team Hyper Force Go. Monkeys mobilize. Right then, full speed ahead. Hey, that is cool. Nah, dude, it's the coolest. Get Jet X weeknight starting at 7, 6 central on Toon Disney. Toon Disney was started in 1998, the rear end of the 90s, and lasted about 11 years, meeting its end in 2009. It was soon replaced by Disney XD, which, uh, um, well, they had, uh, they had Jimmy Two Shoes and Kick Patowski. That, that's, uh, that's something. So, let's look at some of the programming they had to offer. Well, first they had the Magical World of Toons, where they aired stuff like Doug and Pepper Ann. Personally, I never particularly cared for Doug. Not sure why, it just really wasn't my thing. I don't hate it like uh, other certain critics do, but I don't know, I, just, I never liked it either on Disney Channel or Nick. Pepper Ann, on the other hand, I really did enjoy. I liked its very different style. It had a very Daria for a younger crowd approach that I really liked. Also, fun fact, the woman that created Pepper Ann also created... Yeah, she, uh, she made that too. Another block on the channel that they had was the Great Toon Weekend, where they would showcase new episodes of shows that were, more often than not, based on movies that they had. These shows included Aladdin, Timon and Pumbaa, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, The Emperor's New School, and Lilo and Stitch. As for the Aladdin show, it was a pretty good expansion than the original Disney classic. It had a lot of the same action and humor that made the original movie great. And yes, the guy that voiced Homer Simpson, Dan Castaneda, is the genie in this show. Give the show credit, though, it's better than Return of Jafar. Timon and Pumbaa was a show I remember watching all the time when it was on. This show was to Lion King what Tailspin was for Jungle Book. One of the things I really liked about it was how different every episode was. Instead of taking place in the African savanna in every episode, they would put the duo into different locations, giving way to several different wacky adventures. Also making Hakuna Matata the theme song is actually insanely brilliant. And before anyone says that I should do a review of Lion Guard, go watch Brandon the Bambi Man, alright? That's he's, he's got that down pat. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command was pretty good. I remember the premiere movie that they made for it, and it was a pretty good way to start off a series. I find it weird that they had the aliens part of Buzz Cannon, but eh, you gotta find some familiar faces, I guess. The new characters I remember being pretty good. It definitely added a lot of canon to Star Command, which was something we only heard in small doses from the original Toy Story movies. You're in direct violation of code 6404.5, stating all space rangers are to be in hypersleep until awakened by authorized personnel. Oh, no. And they actually made Zerg legitimately threatening. They made him a very Darth Vader-esque villain. No, Buzz. I am your father. And if you really think about it, from a marketing perspective, this thing is brilliant. It gives something that the Disney fans can talk about, and it means more toys that Disney can make, ergo more money for Disney. Emperor's New School was an interesting piece. I mean, Emperor's New Groove, I think, is one of the more underrated Disney movies. I really like it. But I never expected to see a show about it. So, what is the show about? Well, we'll have Cusco go to high school. Yeah, and Yzma wants to get rid of him, like in the original movie, so she poses as a teacher. Yeah. Now from that description, it sounds like it would be terrible, right? But surprisingly enough, it was actually really good. The strongest thing about the show is without a doubt, it's humor and it's writing. The same amount of meta fourth wall breaking humor that the movie had is still intact here. Was it repetitive? Yeah, sort of. I mean, every episode was about turning into a different animal and trying to wipe out Cusco, and... yeah. The point is, it's a good show. I really... I highly recommend you actually check this one out. It's surprisingly good. Lastly, we have Lilo and Stitch. Very similar to Aladdin, it kept the same feel at the movie it was based on. As for the premise, it's actually pretty good. Going around trying to catch a bunch of different experimental Stitch-like aliens, it's kinda like Pokemon. Except with Lilo and Stitch. 
Aside from the TV shows, I also remember them airing a bunch of really underrated Disney movies like The Brave Little Toaster and The Goofy Movies. God, those, good, those movies were good. And they also had segments with the characters like the heroes, the princesses, and the villains. For what it's worth, these segments were pretty good too. <laughs> Hanging with the heroes. Weekend starting at 3 2 Central on Toon Disney. So, in conclusion, Toon Disney, it's. it's pretty good. While I was never much of a Disney guy, I was more raised on Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon. I can still say I have some fond memories for this channel, and thanks to this requested review, I got a bit of a throwback to them. So tune in for the next Media Wiz review, where we'll look at Cartoon Network's lineup of Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. I'm the Media Wiz, because one art form wasn't enough. Smile.